This week's parsha, Vayigash, is the second to last portion in Sefer Bereshis, in the book of Genesis. And the Torah portion continues perfectly from last week's portion. Yehuda and his brothers, Judah and the other brothers are all standing together face to face with Yosef, with Joseph, the ruler of Mitzrayim, the number two man in the entire world at that time. And they're arguing back and forth about the youngest brother, Binyamin. Yosef says, he has to stay with me. He's not, I'm not letting him go back with you guys to your father. And Yehuda says, no, I gave my father my word that I would not let anything happen to him. I'm not leaving here until he's with us. And they go back and forth and they're showing each other their power and their strength until ultimately Yosef realizes he can't keep his secret any longer. He must reveal to his brothers that he is indeed their brother that's been missing for so long. Obviously, when he does so, there's a tremendous mix of emotion. They're excited and they're scared and they're embarrassed and, and so many other things that we could only imagine was going through their minds. And after having a little bit of doubt as well, Yosef proves that it is truly him. And they reunite and he shares, gives them gifts and he spends some time with them. The brothers then go back home. They go back to Yaakov of Yenu, their father, to share this amazing, amazing news with him. And when Yaakov finds out, he was also given a little bit of a hint, a little bit of a tip off, because Yosef sent a little bit of a sign, of a clue as to what they were learning previously before he left so many years before. And Yaakov, at this moment, he picks up his entire family, which the Torah tells us there are 70 people. And they all traveled down to Mitzrayim. They all traveled down to Egypt together. And when they get there, there's an emotional reunion between Yaakov and Yosef. And they settle down. And Yaakov Avinu, as well as the brothers, they meet Paro, the ruler of Mitzrayim. And they have a slight introduction. And the brothers ask Paro to please give them a certain lot of land where the family can dwell. And that's Paro agrees to, gives them a land called Goshen. And the parasha finishes off by telling us that the Jewish people, Yaakov and his family, settle in the land of Goshen, and they become very, very successful in that place.